These companies are allowed to go in the direction that they're going in, and they see that that's the, the values that they want to push. They're free to do so. Of course, it, it has that righteous indignation to it, and we want to we want to come out. We want to speak about it. We want to protest. We want to do all those things. But why not speak with our wallets? Why not take away? what these companies are using and how big they are to fund other things, to put our money in, in, in people and in, in businesses and companies that care about our values and will stand by those values without compromising. Joining us now is Power Forward for the Orlando Magic, author, speaker, and founder of the apparel line Unite Us, which we'll learn more about today, Jonathan Isaac. Hey, Jonathan, thanks so much for joining us on Takeaways. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. It, it is so inspiring for me to be talking to you right now and for so many of us who are watching you just see the, the, the man of faith, the man of conviction, and the man of character that you are. And you've been demonstrating that. And, uh, and, and, and now you're doing something so cool. It's called Unite Us. Um, what's the story behind that? Tell us what it is. So the story behind Unite Us is simply about looking out into our culture and marketplace and seeing brands, sports and apparel companies continuing to move farther and farther away from godly values and principles and also constitutional values and principles. And I understand that instead of just complaining about the issue, why don't I step into the marketplace and, and alleviate the problem and give lovers of God, lovers of freedom, the freedom to buy with their values. And that's what I try my best to do with taking on Unitas. So it's an, it's an apparel line and that apparel line includes what? Shoes, uh, shirts, athletic Apparel? Yes, absolutely. So we started with just leisure wear just to start with our first capsule. So you have a sweater like this, a t-shirt, a hoodie, sweatpants, things like that. But we hope to get into shoes, get into every single line that you could think of from a sports and leisure wear perspective. This is the Judah one that I'll be wearing this upcoming season. It has five colorways and each one has a distinct verse that goes with the shoe. So this shoe is called Ruach and that's the Hebrew word for spirit. And uh, uh, this is John 14, 26, when it talks about the spirit is our comforter and Jesus will send it for us. So, Jonathan, when, when, when people see things that they don't like going on in the culture, as you said, the tendency tends to be to complain about it or to, to just be concerned and worry about it. But what you did is decided to create something that can flip the script and change the narrative. So what, what was it exactly that you were seeing in these other brands that made you say, I want to start an apparel line. Back in 2020, when the height of COVID, the height of BLM and everything that was going on in our country, I went to my pastor and I said, hey, this is the situation. And he said, why don't you create your own sneaker that you can wear for the upcoming season? Have it be about what you care about. My middle name is Judah. I love the lions. So that was the inspiration for the shoes. And then it turned into why just create something for myself? Why not create something for everybody to be able to wear their values? be encouraged by their values. And then it turned into, look at what is going on in our society. We can use this as a way to encourage people that their values are valid and we can stand up in love to stand up for our own values. And if they won't celebrate them, then we can celebrate them ourselves. That's what I'm talking about. That, that's getting off the defense and getting on the offense. We can't just play a defensive game and expect to score any points when it comes to future generations. In the cultural game, if we want to put points on the board, we have got to be proactive, not complainers and whiners, but creators and winners. And that's what you're doing. I'm, I'm so encouraged by that. And so many others will be too. When you talk about the complaining, it's, it's absolutely all right to look out at the culture and to call out things that are wrong. But at the end of the day, we live in a free country and a free society. These companies are allowed to go in the direction that they're going in, and they see that that's the, the values that they want to push. They're free to do so. Of course, it, it has that righteous indignation to it, and we want to we want to come out. We want to speak about it. We want to protest. We want to do all those things. But why not speak with our wallets? Why not take away what these companies are using and how big they are to fund other things, to put our money in, in, in people and in, in businesses and companies that care about our values? and we'll stand by those values without compromising. And that's, again, what I've been trying to do with Unitas. Jonathan, I, I, I can't help but just look at the importance of the name Unitas. Unite us. What do you think are some of the factors that are dividing us as a nation right now? When I talk about the agendas that are being spewed, a lot of the things that are going on, it's to in, 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 incite division, white against black, 
male against female, the things that are happening in our school systems today, the things that are being taught. And it's even worked its way into the church where we're divided on issues, we're divided on biblical issues that in my opinion should be forthright with the word of God and what it says. Um, And actually my pastor, again, bringing him up again, he was actually at the altar when we were talking about this this company that we could start in and, and how we could use it for the honor and glory of God. And he looked at the cherubims and how we have the Ark of the Covenant at the altar of our church and the fires in the middle. And he said, God, unite us, make us one, make us a, a, a formidable force for us to stand up for the values and the things that we care about and to take back some of the ground that we've lost in the culture and in the marketplace. The Bible says that the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence and the violent take it by force. That doesn't mean we have to forcefully take things, but it does mean that we have to stand up for who we are and understand that our values are valid, that the values and ideas that were instilled in us have created such a prosperous society, and we're losing that day in and day out. And so with things like Unitas, I want young people to be encouraged, adults to be encouraged and say, I can put a brand on my chest and on my sleeve that cares about me, cares about our values, and I can see that grow and we don't have to shop at these places. And if there are not alternative options for people to hang on, the only answer is going to be to conform. You famously stood for your values in 2020. Uh, would you just r- r- remind folks what happened then and then talk about what Unitas is going to stand for in the future? A lot of people know me from the viral moment of you know, deciding to stand in the bubble back at the height of Black Lives Matter organization and the movement and you know, the, the tragedy of what happened to George Floyd. And I found myself in the bubble where all the NBA teams were deciding to kneel for the national anthem and to wear a Black Lives Matter t-shirt. And I remember speaking to my pastor the night before and saying, hey, this isn't something that I want to do. I don't want to kneel. I don't want to wear the t-shirt. And he said to me, Jonathan, you cannot stand for God and God not stand for you. And the next day I went into that game and I decided to stand. And it was all about the solution for me. It wasn't that I didn't see a problem. It, doesn't, it wasn't that I didn't believe that Black Lives Matter, but I, I didn't believe that the answer was going to come from an organization, that the answer was going to come from a political party or movement. The answer was going was to come from white and Black people understanding that we all fall short of God's glory. And if we could choose to love each other the way that God loves us, which is in spite of our sin, in spite of our shortcomings, then we could have true change and true progress. And so I decided to do that. And it turned into a book about my journey and, 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 and where I came from, how I've struggled in my own life with racism, fear, self-insecurity, and how I was delivered by God's grace and, and his love and how that led to me being the only one to, to, to stand in the bubble. The book is called Why I Stand. I've, I've actually got it right here just to shot it. Um, it's called Why I Stand. And yeah, so that, that's what it comes from. Um, and then you talked about how Unitas is going to stand up for these principles and ideals. It's going to stand up for we all fall short of God's glory white, black, and indifferent. It doesn't mean that you don't call out wrong. It doesn't mean that you don't call out racism when it happens, but it doesn't mean that you demonize a set of people, a group of people um, as an all-in-one problem. Um, You take it by a case-by-case basis and you strive to to love each other in spite of, the Bible says, to love your enemies and to pray for those who despitefully use you. You know, when, when we stand for something, it also means we are drawing a line in the sand and we're also standing against other things. And as Christians, uh, we can sometimes be criticized for always talking about what we're against, what we're against. Don't do this. Don't do that. I'm, I'm anti this, anti that. Um, but by definition, when we stand for truth, we are standing against error. When we side with the light, we are going to fight against the forces of darkness. So with Unitas, what would you say Unitas would be proud to stand against? Unitas is pro-faith, faith in Christ. It's pro-freedom the constitution, the the ideals and the principles that help this country get to where it is today. And pro-family, the family unit that God instituted, um, Unitas will stand up for things like veterans, things like um, just just everything that's going on in our society today that I believe is contrary to the word of God, Unitas will stand for in love. I, I, I love to say that all the time because it's not about hate. It's not about going against a specific group or a specific side. It is to say that this is our position. If you can stand proudly for what it is that you believe in, we only ask for the same respect and the same tolerance to allow us to stand up for what is our deeply held beliefs. And we will leave the bridge open to have conversation, to have dialogue and allow you to come from the other side. So it's not about hating anybody. It's not about talking down to other people. It's saying, this is what I believe. I respect what you believe. And I will discourse with you. I'll talk with you about why I believe what I believe. 
And at the end of the day, it may be that we agree to disagree, but I will not stand, stop standing up for what I believe in. Jonathan, what has been the reaction of some of your colleagues, friends, family to starting Unitas? Has anyone um, suggested that you just stick to basketball and leave the clothing lines to other people? <laughs> you know, I, I would say social media is definitely the wildest place to get comments and things like that. So I've, I've had my fair share of negativity, but I have learned through the, through the standing for the bubble, through not taking the vaccine, through all these different things, I've, I've, I've kind of had my scales and my calluses um, come up. So when I see negativity, I try my best to focus on the positive. So yes, I've, I've had conversations with guys where they're asking about, well, how is it going? How did you start it? How did you go about creating the sneaker? All these different things, which is great conversation. Um, and I just try to stay positive. There, there's been so much love already from people who are saying, I, I want to support this company and brand. What's the website? Things like that. And I didn't share that. So you can head to weareunitas.com to check it out. U-N-I-T-U-S is Unitas. And just, yeah, I, there's been a world of positivity. And that's where I want to stay. I don't focus too much on the negativity. I want, again, to instill that community aspect, that encouragement aspect for kids in college campuses, kids in high school, adults all around the country to just want to stand up for their values in a loving, peaceful way. What's the way that you want to impact the world that your children will be living in? No matter what it is that you believe or that I believe, I want them to say my dad stood on his beliefs, stood on his convictions. And if he ever was in an environment, even if he was the only one that thought a certain way, he didn't waver. Um, he didn't allow fear to stop him from standing up for what he believes in. And that's what I'll try my best to instill in Naomi, my baby girl. Those are some of the things that I want to instill in her. Love God, stand up for what you believe in, um, be accountable to your words. And uh, nobody's perfect at the end of the day. We all fall short. But I want to be a, a leader and a role model for her. 